Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a minute, but I decided to make this video to help a lot of people out there on how to make the RGB lighting work on your HP Omen 30L. Uh, shout out to the guy Luis. He was teaching me with details on everything that I need to make this work. I'm gonna leave you his link to his channel on the description down below. So go ahead and check out his videos. All right guys, let's get to it. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna have to buy is the SATA adapter that goes to your hard drive, to your cooling master. Um, I'm gonna leave a link on the description for this one. Uh, the second thing you're gonna have to buy is this cooler master uh, liquid fan. It's really easy to install. Uh, I believe I pay $70 for it. I'm gonna also leave a link to this unit. Uh, this is the, well, so far that I know is the only way you can have the RGB lining working because this liquid cooling provide three RGB plugs. One is gonna be for your middle RGB. One is gonna be for your top RGB fan. You're gonna have an extra one, so you can do a lot with it. Um, I also got these lights on the side that I plug to the extra plug the, the RGB fan provides, which is this one. And I have this fan, which is RGB also. Uh, I will leave a link to all these parts on the description down below of everything you need. All you gotta do is install your RGB fan. Then all the uh, this RGB fan will come with a four pin power, which is this one that you plug to your set adapter. So this plug is the one for the uh, liquid fan and this one is for a hard drive so that's that's why that's how you supply all the power to your liquid cooling master the way i did it i installed this fan and ran all those cables to the back of, of this hard drive bring them all the way down and stuff all my cables over here so i don't so i don't have to be so I don't have a big mess on here. So what it is, just stuff these cables on there. I think this is another slab for another hard drive. So I don't really use this one for now. Also, it will come with this controller that controls all, all your lining, which is gonna be a button is to change colors. You can change the colors. You can change how bright you want it or you can change like the pattern you want these uh, lights to have. If you want to blink in, if you want to have them um, uh, breathing or just solid light, then you can change all the colors you want with this cool um, controller that you got here. I have it handed on here. I just hang it on top and grab it from the other end from the bottom. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you guys don't know how to install this liquid cooling, it's not too hard. I will leave a link on the description on how to make, uh, how to install this fan. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. The only thing I recommend is buy a uh, different thermal paste because the one that comes with it, supposedly I heard a lot of things about it that it's not, it doesn't do a great job. So you can buy an, an X and you can buy a different one for it to be to play more in the safe way uh but yeah this is how i make the rgb lining work how i mentioned shout out to the guy lewis he was helping me out on this build on how to make this lining work pretty simple this will be the one that i have bought which is this one cooler master master liquid 120 liter B2 RGB. Pretty nice setup. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this one. Looks pretty cool. Have baby jot on the bottom there. Uh, you can also throw, let me throw this glass on top so you guys can have an idea of how everything looks.
looks pretty clean. I try my best to hide all the wires so that way I don't have a big mess on here. It's pretty easy and simple. How I mentioned, all you gotta buy is a set adapter, this cooling master, uh, liquid fan. And this is the way to make it work. Uh, I recommend this, this one specifically because our motherboard doesn't come with the RGB heater and uh, liquid cooling master from Cooler Master. Um, it comes with the RGB uh, heater already on there. So that's why they supply all those plugs for RGB. Don't forget there are four, there is a, there are four pin RGBs. So all the RGBs, let's say you buy a fan from from Amazon or from any other store, any model you want. Uh, don't forget to buy the four pin because a three pin will not work in this. Only will work on a four pin. So don't forget it. You need a four pin. But how I mentioned, I will leave everything that I use on here on the description down below. I'm gonna leave all the links to everything. And I hope this was really helpful for you guys. I was told by a lot of people that this is not possible since all motherboards doesn't support RGB. All externals on the RGBs, they have any plug for RGB. So, I was told by a lot of people that this was not possible until I find this video of the guy Lewis and he got really pretty good, pretty good content. So go ahead and check him out. And that's how I find out how to make this work. Let me know what you think in the comment below, on the comment section below, let me know what you think. And if you got any questions, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer every single little question that you guys have. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks.